Hi everyone. Okay, I wanted to show you how you can create a quick overlay. So when you're working with text, for instance, and an image, and the image isn't working, the text isn't showing up very clearly, one of the things that we can do is put an overlay over the image to make that text pop and to make it much more legible. Another reason we might want to use an overlay is because maybe the color, the color, um, the colors that are in the image maybe are not really matching your branding. So you can uh, put an overlay over an image to sort of help tone the image down and make sure that it ties in more with your brand colors, especially if you're working on a sales page or on your website or um, something where you want to have that cohesion. Overlays can be a really great way to sort of help create that cohesion. So I've gone ahead here and I've got two images side by side to show you the difference and how we can work with this. So I just came up with some dummy text here. Um, so if you can imagine, maybe this is a, a blurb on your website and people can click on this to check out your upcoming events that are happening. Um, but as you can see, there's not enough contrast here. Even if I change the um, text color here, it's not going to work. It seems like no matter what I do here, it is just not going to work. Um, that's a little bit better, but even still, it's not quite enough contrast, not exactly what we're going for here. So there's a couple of things we can do when we're working with an image, when the contrast is really poor, is we can even adjust the image. We can start to play with the composition and cropping and seeing if that helps. Um, of course, that does make a little bit of a difference, but still not quite enough. Let's see if I can even play with this a little bit further. Um, that works a little bit better. You can see here this is not totally centered, so this is again just an example. Um, so you want to make sure all your text is centered. Um, but anyway, this is um, this could work, but we're going to want to place, like I said, an overlay over this particular image to see if we can make this just stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to move this kind of back to center here. And <clears throat> so what we're going to do, this is a very simple thing to do. It's very easy to do. So all you're going to do is once you've got your image inserted into Canva, and by the way, you can also do this on most website platform builders. I use Divi myself and I can easily apply overlays to images with right within the platform. Um, I'm sure Elementor and Enform, I believe it's called, and Squarespace, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do this too. So just check with your website platform to see if this is an option for you, if it's something that you can actually do. Okay, so all we're going to do is once you have the image placed in your design, um, you're going to come over here to Elements. And when you click on Elements, you're going to go to Shapes. You can click on See All, but usually the square comes up kind of right towards the top, the basic shape. So you're just going to insert that into your design. And all I want to do is, as you can see, Canva starts to give me these grids, these pink fuchsia sort of grids. Um, I can start to line this up over my image. Um, so let's just see here. Yep, that looks about right. Now once I have this over my image, what I can do is this is the purple that I use in my branding, or I could also pull colors out right in the photo. So as I talked about in a previous tutorial, usually Canva will give me a color palette based on the photos that are in my design. It doesn't always work, however. If you're not getting this uh, coming up, what you'll need to do is um, delete the photo uh, from your uploads file or from photos and try to bring it back into the design. It's a little bit uh, glitchy, uh, so it doesn't always work, but it is quite handy when Canva brings this in for you. So as you can see here, this is my own brand color, so I could easily adjust this now. If I wanna keep it within the purple so that it fits my particular branding, what I could do is I can click up here on the transparency tool, and once I start to lower that transparency, it's going to create this overlay effect. I can just do a slight overlay. It almost gives it that purple, almost gives this image like kind of a dreamy sort of effect. So if that's one of your keywords, this is a really kind of, um, kind of a Canva hack in order to create that kind of filter, a dreamy sort of effect or filter on your photos if that's one of your brand words, for instance. So in this case, this is my uh, purple that I'm using. I can easily change this. Maybe the purple's not working. I want to try something darker, something lighter, and I can just kind of play around until I get something I like. But in this case, I'm going to use the colors that actually came with um, the photo here. 
and I'm kind of liking this lighter tan color. And again, you could just play with this. If you're just looking for something a little bit more subtle, you could easily do that. But in this case, I really want my text to pop. So what I'm gonna do here is probably bring this up a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna bring this text over here. I should have done this first, but we're gonna duplicate this text. And in order to duplicate something, let me just click off, I'm gonna duplicate it. I have it grouped currently. I come up here to the two um, rectangles. They look like sheets. I click on duplicate. It's gonna duplicate that together if I have it grouped. So I'm just gonna find the center here. And as you can see by comparing the two, if I just zoom back out a little bit, this one is obviously a lot easier to read. The contrast is really good here. I could even play a little bit with some of the other colors. Um, right now I have white font. I could see maybe what the black font looks like and see if that works, but I'm liking the white a lot more. And then I can still play with this photo even further. And if I want just a hint of that image showing through, um, you can just really decide what kind of look works best for you and see what you like. Then again, now that I'm in here and I've got the, the colors placed, I can always adjust that overlay to see what kind of works. Um, so this is a really great way to create cohesion within your designs, but also to help make your text more legible and clear when you're working within a design that has an image that's really busy or hard to work with and you just don't want to give up on the composition because you really like the photo, for instance. Um, so have a play, play around with this on some of your current designs and see what kind of um, effect a transformation you make just by applying an overlay to your images. All right, have fun. Hope you found this tutorial helpful.